it's uh, logged in into Kaggle. Maybe Melody, can you share the, maybe Melody can share her screen Just since she is the one who asked me. Or Kerod, you can also share your screen. I'm not logged in in Kaggle, that is why. Okay, can you work out through it using the examples? Okay, Kerod, can you hear me? Uh, yeah. So you don't have to go to Kaggle to just have the data, right? We have already provided the CCV tool. Yeah, we're hearing you. Okay, let me share the screen. I think it does better. Okay, so what was the question again? <clears throat> She was uh, she was asking about the melody. Can you speak up? I think that you can reflect your question. Hi, you can hear me now. Yeah, we can yes. hear you. Okay, so my question was um, after I downloaded the the data from Airquore, there were three documents. Uh, there was one that was a um, test, oh. yeah, then there yeah. was sub submission, then there was training. Yeah. So my, my, my question was, I, I read about them a little bit on AirCore, and uh, they were like, uh, the sample submission is what um, the data is supposed to look like when I submit. Yes. Then, yes. Um, the train was where I was supposed to do my um, uh, train I, my model. Yes. And, the and test then test the, test. The, the test was to? Test, yeah. Yeah, you heard it. So, <clears throat> yeah. me... so yeah. I, I didn't understand what yeah. with this data. Yes, I'm, I can see um, the values written there and the um, I, I didn't understand what I'm supposed to do with it. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So uh, you are right. It's a bit confusing for you guys. So uh, Kaggle is actually uh, used for machine learning and uh, data science training models or uh, data. So these data are after you did your prediction and uh, you want to submit, you submit by using this kind of submission uh <clears throat> pipe or col columns and the test and the train is as you have said the train is uh, how the data that you are going to use to train your model and the test is the how you're gonna uh, test your mo model so after you train it you're gonna test it and you're gonna submit the result of the test values into the submission but yeah so that's where the confusion is so we have provided the data that we that you're gonna use. So if you go here and check out this structure uh, of the data, it will take you to the data. So this is going to be the train data. So you're not going to be uh, training and testing any models. So uh, you can just go ahead and use this one. So as you can see, you, you can uh, directly export it to your Google, Google Sheets. So just use uh, this provided uh, CCV file, the data sets here. So you can, so this, the link to this is given if you want uh, to know about, uh, to have a more understanding about the data set. So if you, if you can see here, there's a detailed uh, description about the data set, how it's collected, what each component means uh, and, uh, the reason and the result and so on. So we gave you this link uh, in order for you to just check out uh, what the data means and how it works, how to interpret them and so on. And you can just use a train data, but 
since we have already provided here, you can just directly use this one. Yeah, is that clear, Melody? Yeah, yeah, it's clear. Yeah. Um, okay. Sorry for Melody. Uh, yeah. Okay. Since this part is that you can use the CSV files, the other question was, uh, what are you? What are we going to use? What type of Im imputation are we going to use for uh, the values? Right. That is the yeah. mean or the mode value. Yeah. So as we have discussed, so depending on the value or on your data. Uh, if the data is so conceptually, when are we going to use the mean? So, so you can understand that mean mean miss the the average value, right? So, like taking the average value will be correct if the data or if the distribution of the data is uh, is almost similar, okay? So, or if it is normally distributed, which means uh, what can I say is like so you can understand the you can see that from the from calculating the of uh, the distributions okay so if there is if the data is collected in one space or for example let's take five people and five people with different age like if the one person is 55 if the other is three if the other is 80 something then uh, so like if the data is going to be continued this way then maybe taking the mode value of this is going to be good or the mean value of the this data will not imply uh, the missing values very well okay but if it is collected in one type of if in uh, around like same number or ar around same range from one to ten and things like that then it would be appropriate to take the mean value so it depends on the distribution of the data did you get my point uh, melody um and yeah. sort of uh, so also uh, when I tried to do it by myself yesterday, um, uh, the sheet suggested to me something called smart clean function. Is is that supposed to help with cleaning the data and should I trust it? If it is suggested from Google Sheet, then yeah, it is okay to go with that. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. So maybe, uh, okay, if there is another question, we can accept that. Or like maybe, yeah, we can make some illustrations on how to find the mean and how to replace the values with that. Yeah, that would be helpful. Okay. So yeah, let's say this is a random data or we don't really need to care about or to get to worry about the type of the data okay so uh, taking this one maybe taking this uh, column you can see that there are some empty data or actually we can first calculate the mean value so uh, yeah clicking the column or the column we can get an insert and function and the, we can calculate the average value or yeah, in order to put the average value in a clear space, it's better if we can click uh, an empty cell. So insert function in the average value. So if we want the value of this column, then we can click the column and it will be displayed here. Since yeah, the first column is uh, we can undo this. Okay. Um, the Reach the average value of all this column, right? It would be six thousand seven hundred eighteen. It will be this will be the mean value, and the same as this one, we can calculate the mode value or the other like the standard deviations or other oh, values that we yeah, want to get and then maybe let's say we want to replace the in t sales if, if we are on the same top like i can delete this and also i can delete this and if we want to replace this value for all the in t sales we can use the filters here And 
and in filter conditions we can put if it is empty if there's if there are some empty cells that we need to be replaced so yeah we can see that those values are empty or we need to put the various value for those values we can put if it is 3,679 3, is the mean value we can just put this in we can drag this to all the parts okay so then we can remove the uh, filter and the empty uh, cells will be filled with the mean value so meanwhile uh, I will uh, be back to you probably melody but there you can just draw the statistics or you can get the distribution of the data uh, you can plot the distribution of the data, the mean, and like in order to identify uh, how is what is the distribution. Is it normally distributed? It, it, like, should we use the mean value or should we use the mode value? I will uh, be back to you, but yeah, you can just find the mean value and the mode value just like this. Okay, um, so if I'm getting you right, if there are few spaces, there are a few missing values. That is when you use the average. Um, when do you use the mode uh, and when should you know when you should be using these functions? Yeah, that is like, I would have just seen how to replace some values with the value that we want, but how to understand the, like, the distribution, if it is like, what are we supposed to replace it with? Actually, you're not supposed to worry that much about the, the fact that yeah that is what i said that i will be i will get back to you but the thing is you can see the distribution or you can see the statistical distribution the mean and the mode uh using a plot or using a graph and then if you can interpret the graph if it is like if you are familiar with the concept of normally distributed it is if uh, most of the value most of the the value of the data is found on the like on the mean uh around the mean uh, value then you can go with the mean value but if the data is distributed like some of them are too big some of them are too low you know you can take the average value if it seems like that you can go with the mode or the median value that is the concept okay okay now it's clear thank you thank you melody <laughs> So if there are uh, other questions or other like discussions we can make here. So anyone with an opinion or question? Okay, then uh, Carol, I think you can take over or you can uh, just close the session. Uh, yeah, Mide, can you, uh, you can speak. Okay, so um, thank you and good afternoon. I just want okay. to know if this session would also be uploaded on YouTube, please. Yes, it will. Thank you. And uh, for Jonathan, so uh, well, while you go through the data and do your analysis, uh, you're going to come up with some insights, right? So the report is going to be composed of these insights and the steps that you took to do the analysis and so on. What you did, what you considered, how you clean them uh, and how it aligns with the business objective and what you have found. Be basically, uh, for the entry, you're going to be including uh, the progress that you have made so far on Wednesday. Yeah, maybe also to add on this, uh, Jonathan, we know like it's a big data and like while trying to visualize the data, you need to be 
uh, you need to focus on what type of parameter do I need to focus or do I need to um, see visually, okay? So that you will be, you know, some of the parameters might not be that important in order to have some interpretation about the data. So try to identify what type of parameters are important on this uh, situation or on this scenario, on this specific analysis, okay? So that at the end, you can come up with, depending on this parameter or like if it is, let's say sulfur dioxide this is an example okay let, let's say sulfur dioxide might have a big impact on the environment so you will give uh, a first insight or first concern uh, about making analysis on that specific feature which is sulfur dioxide okay so you need to know uh, you need to make your analysis or your visualization your data visualization specific so that you know uh, you can take good insight of the data is that clear Jonathan? okay Okay, um, so thank you everyone for joining. Uh, if there are no further questions, I'm going to stop the recording. Uh, uh, one more thing. Yes. Um, yes, a melody. The, the, the recording for uh, data collection using your num number and expert, when, when can we expect it to be uploaded? Um, yeah, it has not been uploaded yet, but I will be checking with the team and uh, we'll be informing you on the Slack uh, when, it's, when it's ready. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, Ona? Yeah, it will be uploaded now, I see. So you can check that. Yes, yes, hello. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Yeah, Ona. Yes, just a moment now. I've seen you present your AQO Africa data, where you also had the data sets, but I really didn't know where you got that AQO because you never shared it with us. Yeah, that's all. Is it working for me or for Carol, since we both have shared our screen? Yeah, uh, that, that's a question to maybe it's Radiant. Okay, yeah, th th that is not the data that we are supposed to work with. This is another data. So from the beginning, I say that you don't have to be worried about the data that I, that I am presenting. So it is just a demo data. Is that clear or not? Yeah, very clear, very clear. Thank you. No. Okay. Um, any other quick, quick questions, guys, before? Okay, is everything clear then? Well, on my end, it is. Okay, okay. Okay, yes, uh, Zira. Let's say you can go. So I think it's a mistake. Is that a mistake, Zera? Okay. So I think it's, it might be a mistake. Yeah. Okay. So thank you guys for joining. Uh,